Today's focus is on cybersecurity benchmarks. I'll start with a simple question of who wins? Option one, your cybersecurity team reduced the time it takes to update known vulnerable software components in production by 50%. It now takes seven days to get updates into production following a zero day announcement. Option two, Nation state threat actors take two days to weaponize proof of concept exploits following zero day announcements in these same known vulnerable software components. If you guessed option two, you're right. I'm Derek Weeks reporting from Bethesda, Maryland. Security Week is just out with an article about the Iranian advanced persistent threat actor named Mint Sandstorm. They previously went by names like Magic Hound, Ajax Security Team, Charming Kitten, and Newscaster. According to the Microsoft researchers featured in the article, the threat actor is quickly adopting proof-of-concept code for exploiting known vulnerabilities. Remember the Manage Engine vulnerability in a Java dependency back in January of this year? It allowed for remote code execution without authentication in a third-party dependency, XML security for Java. Mint Sandstorm began exploiting it the same day the proof-of-concept exploit was available. Horizon3.ai had warned at the time that there were 3,000 vulnerable managed engine products exposed to the internet. Now, let's go back to our benchmarks and apply them to a race. You are in lane one. You're one of the 3,000 organizations with Manage Engine exposed to the internet. It takes you three days to get the known safe version of XML security for Java into production. Mint Sandstorm, the advanced persistent threat actor from Iran, is in lane two. They are armed with automated exploit code in under 24 hours. Who wins? Yes, Mint Sandstorm. They've been in your environment for 48 hours with remote code execution capabilities. Want another chance? Mint Sandstorm had automated exploit code available for a YAML deserialization flaw within five days back in early February. It was tied to IBM Espera FastPex. Even better than Mint Sandstorm? Threat hunters saw exploit attempts from others within 24 hours of the vulnerability being announced. Those same threat hunters saw indicators of compromise only two days later. So when it comes to cybersecurity benchmarks, is it more important to measure your success against internal or external metrics? <music> Search for and subscribe to It's 505 wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.